guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to sterilize um, some uh, cans if you are planning to um, canning some vegetables or tomatoes or whatever um, first thing first is important the safety and by sterilizing all the um, can so I put some uh, tin cups of water because we're going to sterilize this for five minutes but just leave do not open the lid for the pot, just lay that aside. So first thing first, I'm going to put my thing here. And I already washed this, guys. It's really clean, but it's very important that you sterilize it. So we're going to put this inside. Okay. And also you have to include the um, the leads because it's important to, um, to sterilize all of it. Okay. But before sterilizing, make sure that you wash it really well. Okay, so I'm going to put this all the leads. It's very, very important is the safety and the um, clean and sterilize. Make sure there's no bacteria because you are, um, if you're planning um, canning a lot of vegetables and stuck in your pantry for a year, um, it's really important that it's really clean because you don't want to be have some bacteria build in your jar. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so now it's boiling for five minutes, so we're going to turn off the um, the stove burner and we just let the side to let that um, stay on the burner while this, hold on. Okay, so it's turned it off and we're just going to leave that as is, okay, so for now, that means, because you know the burner's still really hot, so we continue the boiling, so it'll be probably a total of six to seven minutes. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is ready. Take it out from the pot. And we're gonna allow it to cool off. Then we're gonna start the canning. So I'm putting these uh, clean rags. We're going to put our can here to dry out or cooling off. Then we can begin the canning. Hold on, baby. Okay, guys, we're gonna start canning. Um, it is dry now, it's ready to go. Um, so I'm gonna use my cup to scoop the spaghetti sauce. And I use a paper plate so I don't make so much mess, okay? Just like that. And after the canning, we have to put back to the boiled water for another five minutes to seal it. So they will last a little bit longer. Okay, you can keep this for a year. Okay guys, so this is done. It's another one. I'm gonna remove this. I'm just gonna pour it directly. Okay, oops. Okay, this is the um, the mushroom spaghetti sauce that we made um, over the weekend. No, yeah, over the weekend. Remember Saturday? We made some. So, yeah, this is it. Okay. Then I'm going to... My spaghetti ketchup. My banana ketchup, rather. Um... I have to sterilize more bottle. Watch this one. Okay. 
because it's only like able to sterilize three can at time because I don't have any bigger pot okay so I probably I'm gonna probably I'm going to uh, sterilize probably four more or three more okay so this is the banana ketchup guys that again we made this on Saturday could recall okay so I'm just showing you how to do canning and some of you doesn't know Jaka dun sa Pilipinas guys hindi kami na ganong ganito eh dahil um di namin alam ganon so that's the reason why okay then we're gonna put the seal the lid like that okay then we're gonna clean up around okay make sure that there's no food or anything outside of the um, can then we're gonna seal it really good okay because remember this is um, okay remember we're gonna keep this for a year or so okay so then we're gonna boil back our water we're gonna put this back to our um, pot to boil another five minutes and then turn off the um, burner. Just let the pot sit there for another um, a minute or two. Okay, like that. Um, to know that it's really sealed, they will pop. They will pop the um, the lid. Okay. We're going to put this to. Okay guys, so next we're going to do to make sure our um, but a can, it's really sealed. We're going to boil this another five minutes. And including with not removing the pot from, from the um, burner, probably like six to seven minutes. So it's important to um, seal the can because they will last long. What happened is if you don't seal it completely, it will start the mold so yeah so it's it's kind of a if you want to do a little canning that lasts long then it's important for you to process this way so stay tuned guys okay guys if you remember that also we made a tomato paste on Saturday so what we're we going to do today I'm gonna to use um, the ice cubes box and put in the freezer the reason I decided to do this, I think it's a lot easier for us, especially if you're always cooking, that you already have pretty much measured in it, like how much you're going to use. And it's really handy, you know, you have to do just pop it and you don't need to worry about getting those jar, open the jar, getting the spoon, you know, all those kind of process. So this is a very easy ideas that also you can do for your tomato paste. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on my ice box, just like that. I think I put too much. Hold on. I'm gonna add a little more. Okay, just like that. Um, I do use some um, tomato paste. Like you make some toast, add some tomato paste when you added some uh, vegetables. Uh, you, if you want to make some vegetable sandwich, it's really good to add some um, tomato paste um, for your sandwich. Okay. Or you have a party, you can also use just a lot of things you can use for the tomato paste, not just the cooking alone. Okay, so and then I'm, I will kind of clean up a little bit. It's kind of a messy, but I will clean up that after we're done with this. Okay, this is a very simple way, guys. I mean, this is another ideas you know you can do if you want to it's optional but I like this idea guys because I can pop one cubes and put in my food you know if you're cooking or you can just you don't want a big portion um, you can just keep it here another thing also the good thing about this it's it will last long uh, probably you can keep this for like two, uh, two years and you just sealed it what I do with this is I covered it with aluminum foil well, first and foremost, I do cover it with um, paper towel, and then I um, 
sealed with um, and finalized covered with aluminum uh, paper towel and aluminum foil. That's what I meant. It's really early, guys. Happy Monday, by the way. It's Monday early in the morning. My grandkids are here. It was dropped off around 5.30. So, yeah. It's a busy morning. But, you know, usually I wake up early because I have to water my vegetables, my plants. I have a reason to wake up so early to do my garden. Well, I guess it just is enough. I don't need to get more. Oh, snap. It's aching. Okay. Then we're going to clean this up. It's like this, guys. You know, you just kind of share somewhere. Let's see here. Um, remove some a little bit here because it's just a little bit too much. Transfer to the other side. Like that. Then I will clean up some edges so they don't stick together once you need it, like the cubes when you need it. Okay. Like that. And I'm going to get some paper towel. Just a little bit paper towel to just clean up a little bit. The corner, just like that. Okay, guys, so that's it. There are my tomato paste. I will put this in the freezer and it will last this longer. So, this is another idea if you don't have any can and you can just use your ice cubes tray, you know. So, yeah, wash this again. Okay. Okay, guys, so it's boiled down for five minutes. We turn off the um, burner, but we're going to allow that to sit for like a minute or two or until the boiling stops. And then I'm going to show you what it look like. Oh, you know what it look like, but anyhow, yeah. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is done. This is sealed. So we're just going to let this, um, sit this for now on our pot. Or we can just take it out. So this handle, guys, the gripper, it is a good part to have at home if you like to do vegetable canning because you don't worry about burning yourself this morning i could find you know the whole thing like the uh what do you call that the tube thing to put in your jar so you don't make any mess i was digging downstairs in my heart in my basement i could freaking find it so anyway it works okay so i'm going to get this out okay i'm gonna put my towel back this is kind of hot so let me move this a little bit Okay, guys, so we're going to remove this. Ganyan, ganyan. This one here. Okay, guys, so this is it. I know I'm not done everything of planning on my spaghetti sauce. Not spaghetti sauce. It's my... Okay, banana ketchup. We made the banana ketchup for the weekend and I did post the video on Saturday. So check my YouTube channel and you can see how I did it and how I, how to make it. And also there's a mushroom spaghetti sauce. It's also there. So thank you so much guys for following my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. I love you guys. May God bless you all always and be safe out there this COVID-19. Thank you guys. I pray for you all. Bye-bye.